We continue with our series of communication systems that are found on an aircraft. In our previous video, we looked at VHF communication system. If you haven't watched the video, you can check in the description. There's a link to the video about VHF communication system. In this video today, we are going to be looking at HF communication system. Welcome and enjoy the video. HF communication system is a form of voice communication that is used on long distance routes, particularly the transoceanic routes or the transpolar routes. HF communication is suitable for use in flights between an aircraft and another aircraft. It is also suitable for use with an aircraft in flight and a ground station. Thirdly, HF communication can be used for communication between an aircraft while on ground with another aircraft on ground or with a ground station. The frequency range for HF communication is from 2 megahertz to 29 decimal 999 megahertz. A HF communication system has a channel spacing of 1 kilohertz and as a result a HF communication system has 2800 channels. HF propagation is enabled by the reflection of radio waves by the ionosphere in the upper atmosphere back to the earth. As you can see in this small uh, picture we have, uh, we have radio frequencies that are transmitted and when they reach the ionosphere they are reflected back to the earth's surface. Unlike the VHF communication where the communication depends on the direct line of sight on HF communication, communication is not dependent on line of sight because the HF communication frequency are reflected by the ion sphere and thus it enables long distance communication. Typical range for HF communication system is from between 500 kilometers to 4,500 kilometers. The main components that are found on a HF communication systems are as follows. We have one, the transceiver. We have two, the control unit. We have three, the antenna. And finally, we have an antenna coupler. The transceiver is found in an electronic bay or an avionics compartment on most aircrafts. The transceiver has the function of processing all the signals received from the antenna or also the signal received from the aircraft system in particular from the microphones or the audio integrating system it receives these signals and uh, encodes these signals for transmission it also receives signals from the antenna and decodes these signals and transfer the signals to the audio integrating system it acts as a receiver when the push to talk uh, button is not depressed on a handheld microphone and when the push to talk uh, switch is depressed it acts as a transmitter next component that is found on a hf communication system is the control panel the control panel is found in the cockpit of an aircraft it can be installed uh, on the overhead panel and some on some aircraft it can also be installed in the main instrument panel or on the pedestal, just like the VHF control panel. It is used to switch on or off the HF communication system. And secondly, it is used for frequency selection of HF communication system. Next component we have is an antenna. On old aircraft, the antenna used to be a long wire that was mounted on top of the fuselage up to the stabilizer of the aircraft. But with uh, development and uh, increase in aircraft speed and size, nowadays the HF antenna is mounted on the leading edge of the vertical stabilizer. Like you can see in this diagram, this is the location of the HF antenna on the modern aircraft. For example, the A320, the antenna is mounted on this position and on some other aircraft. You can also see some other aircrafts. The antenna is mounted uh, at the tail of the aircraft. The antenna coupler adjusts the impedance of the antenna to match the load of the transmitter. It is installed on most aircrafts just uh, near the 
stabilizer of the aircraft. As you can see in this diagram, this is how the antenna coupler looks like. It has two connections that goes to the transceiver. This is the front face of the antenna coupler. The rear face looks like this, and it has uh, one connection for the antenna, for the coaxial cable that comes from the antenna. Next component, which I cannot say is uh, specifically part of the HF system, but this is just provide integration of um, uh, the audio system of the aircraft and that of the HF communication system. So it is called the audio integrating system and it is the same system that is used for integration of VHF communication and HF communication as well as other communication systems that are found on an aircraft. Its function is just to integrate the communications system, be it HF communication or VHF communication with the audio system of the aircraft. Thank you for watching this video till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you in our next video.